hose, hook up a hose and spray. Okay, bye, okay. Green sweep for a beautiful lawn that doesn't chew up a lot of time. KSTB, Minnesota's weather channel. Live from Minnesota's news channel, KSTP Channel 5. Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Joe Schmidt bring you the Eyewitness News Update. In 1980, he led a team of American hockey players to Olympic glory in Lake Placid, New York. Now, seven years later, he may soon be the new head coach of the Minnesota North Stars. Good evening, everyone. He, of course, is Herb Brooks. Yes, and Joe Schmidt's here at the top of the news to tell us the latest. He's basically been the only candidate from the start. The decision on the North Stars coaching job now lies in the hands of one man. That man is Herb Brooks. Channel 5 Sports has learned that the Stars have offered Herbie the job. The offer came today after a meeting in New York between Brooks, General Manager Lou Nanny, and North Stars owners George and Gordon Gunn. Rob Lear has the details from New York. Herb Brooks's last stop in the National Hockey League was right here in New York. Ironically, this city may be Brooks's boarding pass to the pros once again. Not far from here on Times Square, Brooks met today for the first time with North Star owner George and Gordon Gunn and general manager Lou Nanny. After a three-hour session, Channel 5 Sports has learned both sides put their contract proposals on the table. Brooks is asking for a one-year deal and a one-year deal only. The Stars are countering with a two-year contract. Brooks has indicated he wants an attendance clause, a percentage of the gate. The Stars are offering Brooks a bonus for winning his division. You don't have to be a hockey fan to recognize that the North Stars are a team in trouble. But does Herb Brooks really want to coach the North Stars? That's a question Lunani and company will hope to have an answer for by as early as tomorrow. In New York, I'm Rob Lear for Channel 5 Eyewitness Sports. The news on Brooks, just part of a big day in sports coming up later. we got the Twins. The Brewers go after that major league record, plus more from the NBA meetings, which are underway tomorrow. All right. More later. Thank you very much, Joe. A tragic accident in the western suburbs today. Two students at Hopkins High School in Minnetonka were killed just after classes let out this afternoon. Mike Binkley reports the two were on a motorcycle that collided head-on with a car. They were close friends who lived close to each other. And they both died instantly when their motorcycle slid into the path of a car just a block and a half from school. The motorcycle driver was named Jack Klugman, a 17-year-old senior at Hopkins High School. His passenger was 16-year-old Nina Werner. She hitched a ride with her friend despite the teasing of others outside school who urged her not to. She said, well, he's a good driver and we're really good friends and I trust him. And she said that she had to go to work and he was going to give her a ride. School had just let out minutes before the accident, and among the people who happened to pass by the wreckage was a good friend of both of them, Andy Falk. I was there about three to five minutes before the police came. It was, it was horrible. Falk said both Nina and Jack had a lot to offer. People didn't understand him, but he was a real nice guy. I don't know. Nina was a really sweet person who had so much life in her nerves. It's just really sad. School officials expect many students will need to talk with counselors over the next few school days. They'll feel the loss and the grief and we'll explain to them that those feelings are natural, that we all experience those and that some depression that goes with that is natural. Counselors and social workers will work throughout the building to provide support. In Minnetonka, Mike Binkley for the Eyewitness News Update. The driver of the motorcycle, Jack Klugman, was wearing a helmet. Nina Werner was not. The driver of the car was not injured, but police describe him as... Mr. 